Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Round number two of Shapeshifters is coming today in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. I'm hoping that EA ups the ante a little bit with even bigger and better players from Team 1. And the leaks that we have right now actually make that seem very possible with some insane player leaks for new shapeshifter icons and shapeshifter cards for today in FIFA 23. So if you're excited for the video today, excited for the content, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's get into what to expect today. But first, look back at yesterday as we often do. We had a surprising player SBC yesterday. I like how there's not a lot of leaks recently for the SBC players. We've had some surprises. I'm a big fan of that. Um Titi was dropped yesterday. Five Five star skills, four star weak foot. Again, kind of like the Uba McConnell card from last Friday. Just a surprising shapeshifter transformation, right? We go from a center back to a left wing with the five star skill boost. Probably not the most meta card because, again, how does a six foot one center back all of a sudden become a or six foot center back become a five star skill left wing and be meta in the game? More so a fun card, but still at the price that he's being released at 250,000 coins with the links that he provides as well. Syria. And French. Very interesting card here. Um, and I think it's one that if you got some leftover fodder, maybe from an 84 times 25, if it fits in your team, maybe not a bad card to try out and have some fun with this weekend during the weekend league. So I feel like there's not a ton to say about the Zoom Titty card other than it's fun. It's cool and it's different, right? And that's what this Shapeshifters promo is all about. Now, there was a pack that was released yesterday that was a bit unexpected, a bit more content on a Thursday than we normally see. The FGS Playoffs Upgrade, an 84 times 5 pack, which a lot of people don't like here by the upvote, downvote percentage. But honestly, guys, that's the type of SBC that we like to have for a brand new promo Friday like today, where you can do this SBC on day one of the promo and have a chance at packing a brand new promo card right away. Way. If we, you know, we had the flash SPCs during team of the season, this is almost kind of the same vibe, although it's not technically a flash SPC, we can do multiple times. We're going to be able to do it today again at content. It's an 85 or I think it's an 84 rated squad with like an, a couple 85s required. It really didn't move fodder that much at all. Yeah, you have to have an inform or a team of the season. 84 squad and two 85s inside of it. So it's really not that great a value, but it's the end game. It's a chance at packing a new Shapeshifters icon or Shapeshifters card today when it refreshes. Not bad. Stock a couple of 83s, 84s in your club, maybe a couple 85s if you're uh, planning to do this today. Or the more fun route would be get some player picks built. I'm hoping to build some player picks today because the 81 pluses have been paying out. I opened a bunch yesterday and they were honestly pretty good for fodder. So I'm I'm going to build a bunch of those for today and hopefully pack some of the new shapeshifter cards in team number two and without further ado let's dive into what's coming today now no uh loading screen yesterday right we were expecting to see that maybe a little bit of a hint on what shapeshifter cards would be upcoming instead all we had were some leaks and foot sheriff promptly started leaking his card yesterday right after the content drop don't know if he was just waiting for that time or if that's when he got the leaks but we've got some big names coming in this team too guys it seems like with the names released team two could be really really cracked i'm hoping that these big name players that have been leaked i hope this is kind of the vibe they're going with i hope they're stepping it up from team number one not that team number one was bad there's some really great players in here but i hope the shapeshifter players themselves take a level up and i hope we get some really insane cards with team two now it's starting off with a genduzi leak right and foot sheriff is saying that he should be an objective or an SBC. This to me has to be an SBC. I don't think this is a type of card that EA would want to put in objectives. It seems too good and it's probably going to be an amazing card because what do we know about Ganduzi? Ganduzi is always cracked in the midfield. I can't imagine how overpowered he could be if he's got the right stat distribution and stat boost as a center back. Can you imagine if EA took his foot birthday card and um, made him like I guess a little bit more pace and and definitely upgrade upgraded the the composure and the reactions. That's a stat when I was looking into his other foot birthday items that he definitely needed. But this very popular center defensive mid card with the five star weak foot. If they take this card, give it some really nice boosts. This could be a very very insane center back. High and average plus body type, six foot one, four star five star. Um, he's got the medium high work rates, which is perfect for a defender already. That would be like the easy choice. Shape 
shapeshift as this guy could potentially come out as a center back. Now, if I had to guess, this could be our SBC today. And we'll talk a bit more about SBCs in a minute. But let's keep moving on through the leagues because that's a great one to start with. But there's more. Frankie de Jong coming in packs as a shapeshifters. Again, question marks around the position. Frankie de Jong has been a card that so many people have wanted to see get a new special item for a really, really long time. And he could be really cracked, right? We got, you guys maybe remember the FIFA World Cup Path to Glory version of this De Young card, which is his latest special card. It has been having in a long time. People were hoping for him in shapeshifters. People thought, uh, no, in team of the season, people really wanted De Young to get a team of the season card and thought it was deserved, which is definitely um, something that's it's factual, I think. But he did not get a card then, but he's slated to get a card now. So where will EA put this De Young? One interesting thing about this card is he's never had any alternate positions. He's only been just a center mid. So technically, they could shapeshift him just a little bit to like CDM or where I would kind of like to see him, center attacking mid. And you could have a more attacking version of De Young with more pace, better shooting, maybe a little bit less defense and physical, more of that type of player with like a five-star skill, four-star weak foot type of vibe. That's kind of what I'm hoping for with this. Could he be a striker? Could he be a left wing? Absolutely. That's a really hype one that's coming today. Also from Barcelona, two Barcelona link leaks in a row. Usman Dembele, who also has not had a card in a long time. We have to go all the way back to Winter Wild Cards before we had our last Usman Dembele special. Always a FIFA meta card. In my opinion today, this is going to rival uh, any other card in the promo team for being one of the most expensive cards. As long as EA don't shapeshift this card like super crazy and make him like a defender or something, I think there's going to be a lot of hype for him as either a striker or a wing player. Maybe a midfielder if EA is feeling that crazy, but again, I feel like his just the way his body type is in game, I hope he's an attacker because he should have the most overpowered aspect of his game in that attacking sense, but we'll just have to see where his uh, shapeshift is into what position. But those are two big players, especially both in Barcelona. A lot of La Liga love and a lot of French love, right? Ganduzi being French, De Jong and Dembele both from La Liga, Dembele being French as well, French as well. And we also have had a lot of like the Ubmacano and the Umtiti that we had yesterday. A lot of France going on in this Shapeshifters promo. Now, the latest leak that we have, and we guys, like we mentioned, we don't have a ton of leaks. We just have a couple. Riquelme is our only icon leak that we have right now. I would expect to see a few more icon leaks here pretty soon into the day today on Friday, potentially, as we get close to the promo. But man, I'm actually very excited for Riquelme because he does not have a single icon card apart from his base, mid, and prime versions on the game this year and uh, nobody thinks about Raquel May in FIFA. He's not meta. He's not really that usable. He does have five-star skills. I can only imagine a either center mid or maybe even a center forward Raquel May card that could be super cracked on this game if they give him a nice pace boost. His dribbling passing is already great. Give him a nice shooting boost as well. You know, this could be a really, really usable fun card that a lot of people would want to try out. Kind of like a right card with five-star skills. I mean, if they gave uh, a five-star, five-star Raquel May up in the attack as well, there could be a ton of hype for that player today on this game. So I'm very excited for that one and just excited to see what the rest of Team 2 brings. Again, those are all the leaks that we have right now. It's not a lot of names, but the names that we have, they look good and they look very, very promising. So I'm hoping that today Team 2 delivers a lot. I'm expecting it to be very similar to Team Number 1 though, right? A mix between the Shapeshifter icons, the premiums, and the regular Shapeshifter players. And if you're thinking along the lines like me, it's probably worth it saving a few 81 plus player picks just to have a shot at packing one of those new promo cards today because it looks like it could be a really solid promo team. Now, speaking of SBCs, we already talked about Ganduzi a little bit. I'm a little worried about SBC content today, guys, because if all we have is the Ganduzi SBC, there are a couple other leaked SBCs uh, as of right now as well. We've talked about them uh, on the YouTube videos before, and I do just want to cl quickly click through those and look over those uh, because we do have an icon shapeshifter SBC that is leaked that is in the name of Petter Check, right? We have a Petter Check leak, um, and we also have a Pepe Reina leak. So I don't know if this is like if Pepe Reina is technically going to be an objective today. I don't know. Uh, check, I feel like maybe Zambrata esque would be on the weekend as a player SBC as a shapeshifter icon, but those are also potential cards we could see coming. Again, we just don't know where EA would put a card like that, but if we're going to get Ganduzi or Check or Pepe Reina today, if we don't get any other sort of content today, could actually seem like a very disappointing day, right? SBC content 
on Promo Fridays drives a lot of the hype for a brand new promo, whether it's a player SBC or often on Fridays, what we see is a refreshing icon pack. And unfortunately, this week, the 90 plus Brazil, France, Netherlands icon upgrade does not refresh. It actually just expires on Sunday. I believe that's on Sunday. Yeah, the two days from now, it's Sunday. And it's not going to come back before then. But oftentimes, we do see that on Fridays. And it's part of the Friday hype, especially if we're all opening a lot of player picks today. We would want to have an SBC like this to be able to refresh. I just checked it on the web app. It is not refreshing, even though that little like refresh thing is there. It says that it's just expiring on Sunday. So not expecting anything big there, but we could have a second player SBC today. Now, one thing you may or may not have noticed is the objectives every week for the foot champs bonus has actually been tied to, or it seems to be tied to the player they drop on Friday as a SBC for the premium type of card, right? We had Air Divisi in this last uh, week as the foot champions bonus. And we also had an Air Divisi player dropped in a premium objective or a premium SBC way with the Thorgan Hazard last week. So if we get a certain league today of a, a secondary player, like we had Upa Meccano and Hazard last Friday, if we were to get today Genduzi and like somebody from the MLS or somebody from um, another off league that has not been featured yet, like uh, maybe the Saudi league or something, then maybe you would want to go out and look for some of those cards on the market that are meta from those leagues because that could be a little bit of an insight looking into um, an objective to come, which could make some prices move, right? A lot of your Air Divisi Tots cards are up big because of that extra objective that is there uh, to get the 85 times 10 and a lot of stuff in objective. So that's just kind of, um, that's not like known for sure, but that's something to watch out for today. Something I will be checking for, for sure. But I'm just careful. I'm being careful today with SBC content because it might actually feel like a really bad day of content if all we have is like one Genduzi SBC that's just decent and like nothing else. So I'm a little bit worrisome about that today. And we got to talk about objectives because Fridays have been pretty big days for XP. Last Friday was a massive day for XP. We got two shapeshifter objectives, shapeshifters and shapeshifters too. Now guys, I am going to be completely honest today. I don't expect to get another massive shapeshifters objective. I think we will get some XP today, but I don't think it's going to be a lot. And here's why last week with the shapeshifters two objective, this was loads of XP, right? One, two, three, four, 5,000 XP just from these, um, you know, these segments of that, of that objective right there. I don't think EA is going to allow us to progress that fast again two weeks in a row. A lot of people right now are in the mid 20s. I think level 23 is like the highest you can get right now. Level 25 is probably going to be attainable today with a new set of objectives, but I don't think it's going to be, I don't think you're going to be able to get level 30 today, guys. I think that might just be too much. Um, you know, you would need what, like four, you know, like 7,000 XP to get all the way to level 30. And I just don't see that happening today, if I'm being honest. Um, we might get another shapeshifter objective, which is going to give you maybe a bonus of 2,000 at the end. And you get like another 100, you know, maybe another 1,000 inside of the rest of it. So 3,000 XP today seems doable. So like level 25 should be attainable for you guys that are very near the like the top of all the XP, but I'm not expecting a massive amount today in there. And then probably another shapeshifters objective. We've had the Mitrovic, right? That's going to be going away. I should probably go score in three separate games with a Serbian player so that I get the Mitrovic card for at least some fodder. But um, another one of those today, of, of course, dropping in the game. Now, let's talk about the market a bit because like Nate, we're talking about the market in June. Yeah, we're talking about the market in June because yesterday with the leaks for De Jong and Usman Dembele, I went out to the market and I bought a Kunde for 975. He had a crazy spike because he's super duper rare. I sold one for 1.3 and there's one that I still have. I also picked up a Lewandowski. Guys, watch these Barcelona links because we've already got a lot of hype with um, Busquets, Jordi Alba. I think some of the La Liga links, especially with the cards that have been released in um, this sh Team 1 of Shapeshifters with Depay. He's very hype. Rudiger, very hype, both from La Liga. If there are more La Liga cards released today, that could be something you want to keep a watch on, specifically with the De Jong and with the uh, Usman Dembele. So, you know, those sort of things could move today on the market, but I'm not thinking it's going to be that crazy of a day. Now, if we're talking about shapeshifter cards and shapeshifter prices, last week, one of the best ways to make coins was buying a couple of these guys in the early stages of them being in packs. Rykard, remember last week I bought it 350. He went up over 130,000 coins, like 480K. We sold him there in that first hour. And then these cards just dropped, dropped, dropped for like four to five hours more until the late night. 
before they rose on Saturday. And that's kind of what I'm feeling is going to happen a lot today. Some of your cards are going to get low in the first couple of hours, the first hour here or so, and then they're going to rebound. Other ones are going to drop for hours. It's like Rudiger went from 1.2 mil all the way down to 730K in the late night, 2 a.m. UK time, you can see here. And then he exploded into the, the next day, 10 a.m. By the time it went from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m., he was 943,000 coins because people were waking up playing foot champions with these new cards. And there was that one uh, the objective, the shapeshifter objective, that you had to use a shapeshifter player in your team. That was a little bit extra demand for the shapeshifters. Not a crazy amount, but it was some. Uh, but like, you know, the right card flip that we had going on there. Last week, I flipped Mares from 2.3 mil, 2.23, all the way to 2.8. So there will be some fluctuations today with the brand new cards that are released in packs like the Usman Dembele, like the Rikalme, like the De Jong. I would say that's going to be a good place to trade first hour. But after that first hour, your prices on a lot of the Shapeshifter cards like we saw last week are probably going to tail off. As again, it's just not the exact same kind of demand situation that we had during uh, team of the season for the weekend league starting after content. It's been going, it's even going as you're watching this video early, most of you guys seeing it early in the day on Friday. So that's where I'll be trading today. The rest of the out of packs market would only be affected, I think, dependent upon SBC. If we have a Genduzi, um, you know, we talked about the La Liga links. Watch out for those, of course, is, uh, for sure. But if we have a Genduzi center back today, I think that could hurt some of your French center backs. Would it go as far to hurt somebody like Varane? Maybe. It just depends on the stats of the card that would be dropped in an SBC and, and so on. So you have to be careful with that today. I mean, Varane is up so much, 1.5 mil. But maybe some of your other French center backs, they're on a bit of a lower budget. Maybe even guys like, I don't know, Marquinhos, who is kind of in that League One category as a League One center back. Up a little bit, of course, because of the um, Vitinha that was released. That's an undercard right there, 535. Not enough of an undercut for me to really want to buy. But, you know, there could be some center backs dropping today if Genduzi is a center back and if he is cracked. But those are some of the normal market movements that we see. So I'm not expecting anything really crazy today. Uh, store packs wise, I'm not expecting too much craziness there either. Just your regular lightning rounds and maybe a 400k pack dropping a few hours after content uh, like we had last Friday. And then maybe a 10 coin pack, maybe. Um, and then probably the return of like the Shapeshifter starters pack. Um, and then the, I guess we didn't really have any other crazy, like hundred K shapeshifter specific packs. Just a lot of these summer packs, right? Those are the ones they're kind of using for the lighting rounds and, uh, they do supply shapeshifters a good amount. So just be careful with those as well. Now, last thing we'll talk about is SBC fodder. Talk about fodder prices because I think these are going to drop today. I really do. I know they're very low. 84 is 85, stupid low, right? 2.8 K for 84 is wild really really wild is the high tier fodder that we're the most interested in guys it is and if these cards drop off tonight um, if we don't get a great player sbc that makes them go up that much we'll be looking at these guys for an investment as we head into saturday and into sunday because once again these guys will probably once that 90 plus icon refreshes or gets re-released on sunday um, if it is to do that then these guys will probably go back above 20,000 coins and if 88s are at any point like 14 to 15k this weekend which they very well could be with that icon pack not refreshing it all depends on what other SBC content we get you know I would be looking at this middle to high tier 86s and above type of fodder rating for this weekend so it's not like an, an investment you can make right now it's kind of an investment for a little bit down the line but guys that's today's video man i mean i'm hyped for this team too i'm excited to see what shapeshifter cards that we get and um yeah i'm tr excited to try to pack some of them as well i gotta send some of these goals to the club so i can go ahead and start to do some player picks and get some stocked up for today's stream if you're enjoying the videos on the channel make sure you drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i will catch you guys in a stream today on twitch it's been nate for see you guys there peace out